Taurus, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a reading on lost connections, whether it's a past love, of course, an, possibly an ex-partner, former lover. We're going to take a look at that energy. So this is for those who are in separation, no contact, but you still feel connected to this individual Taurus, okay? General advice as always, so please do keep that in mind throughout your reading and take from it what makes sense release what doesn't so i will be starting off with this stack by angelic revelation 144 a passionate love affair taking a look at the current vibes of your lost connection all right here we go for taurus ooh, these two cards literally falling out what have we got a proud connection okay so a proud connection going out on dates public displays of affection generational love a love so powerful that is passed down through the generations Ooh, so maybe that might make sense for you if you relate to that let me grab one more here okay so maybe at one point in time obviously they were very proud to be by your side but maybe something happened here and you know i'm also feeling if you relate to this maybe you have grown up with a good example of this type of generational love maybe your grandparents your parents together a long time you know very happy good example of what love should look like but maybe something happened here well obviously something happened here since we're focusing on those who are not together let me grab one more for taurus you could also be cross watching for taurus and we have this one Ooh, this is interesting. It says summer season. We're still technically in summer. Of course, it depends on where you live. Hot, hot, hot. For me personally, um, I'm in California. I live in the San Fernando Valley. This past week, we have had temperatures up to 115 degrees. So I can definitely relate to this. So summer season, we have Gemini, Leo, Cancer, and Virgo. All right, so if any of those signs relate to the person that you're focused on, or of course, that could be a part of your chart as well. So let's grab some tarot here. Okay, I'll be pulling from my tabby tarot teacher deck right here. So let's go ahead and see what that message is for you, Taurus, the current vibes. So something that might be prominent in this person's thoughts or in their heart when it comes to you. Taurus could have been a very intense connection. Okay, let's see. All right, we've got these cards coming through. We have Seven of Cups. Now, this is interesting. We've got the Four of Wands in the reverse. So part of the reason, perhaps, why you guys might have gone your separate ways could have had something to do with somebody else that they were connecting with okay could be the gemini leo cancer virgo reference and then we do have the four of wands coming up in the reverse so this could be unhappiness in the partnership maybe at one point in time you had a lot of hope that you guys could get back together but this could have also been a reunion that ended up not happening maybe at one point in time taurus you had a lot of good feelings when it came to this person and the overall connection but it could also have been that either your friends or your family didn't approve of this person for whatever reason so that created conflict in your circle of people whether that's family your friends you know i'm also feeling a lack of teamwork when it comes to this connection and that basically means that you guys were on different pages okay Let's see what else. Six of Cups. So this person is thinking about you, Taurus. You could be thinking about them as well if you're drawn to this reading in particular. We are taking a look at the current energies, the current vibes when it comes to a past love. So they're definitely feeling nostalgic about the two of you and those times that you guys have shared together. All right, what else? We've got the Fool, that's followed by the Ace of Wands, but we also have the Two of Swords. So it could be that one of you is really wanting to, or at least feeling, is this even worth starting up again? I feel this person from your past have has thought about that, 
you know, we're seeing the Six of Cups. That's nostalgia. There's a past energy there. Someone from your past who is thinking about you and wondering, you know, what would life be like if you guys could try again? But unless they actually do something about that, it kind of remains stagnant. So Two of Swords makes sense for me, especially if they're not exactly doing anything about this. They're not reaching out. They could be thinking a lot about you. We see that here, but they're not doing anything to get you guys unstuck bottom of the deck we've got the queen of swords so divine feminine you might have decided to end things with your masculine here and then we've got the six of swords so yeah this clarifies for me that we have a divine feminine who moved on without this person who didn't uh stick around because there could have been some challenges there seven of cups can reference this person having way too many options and so it could have created a third party situation here for some of you guys all right, so that's what's currently coming through. They are thinking about you. They want to perhaps try again, but maybe it's just not a realistic expectation, you know? So we'll see. All right, let me grab some cards from my scenarios deck here. So this one acts very much like a tarot deck as well because it's got upright and reverse interpretations. So let's, let's grab some cards here. For Taurus, their biggest regrets is what we're going to be focusing on for this next batch of cards. What's their biggest regret when it comes to the two of you? Okay, look at this, guys. We've got Virgo lover in the reverse. So remember, we already saw Virgo reference from the other card there. So you might have been dealing with a Virgo if you relate to that. So it is in the reverse. Picky, stubborn. Somebody who could have been a worry ward, a perfectionist, easily annoyed, people pleaser. Okay, so let's grab another. Let's see what else is going on there. So if they were stubborn, and believe me, I'm surrounded by Tauruses in my life. I've got a daughter, I've got a granddaughter, I've got friends, all Tauruses, and they can definitely be very stubborn. But they're also some of the sweetest people in my life as well. So I understand you know, how the Taurus energy works. So you guys could both butt heads, you know, if you're dealing with this Virgo. Um, they're stubborn, you can be stubborn too. And then we have soul spouse here, true soulmates, married soulmates, past life soulmates. We are focusing on a lost connection from a past love, right? Spiritual connection, okay. This is the next card. So we've got the Promises card coming up in the reverse. Broken vows, unreliable, untrustworthy little white lies. Those little white lies grew into bigger lies, more than likely, because of something that they were keeping from you. Okay, so let's see, Taurus. All right. So you're dealing with somebody here that you really felt a very special connection to, but maybe they did lie to you. Maybe they, they, after a while, you realized you couldn't trust them. So their biggest regret, first and foremost, is that one, they were difficult to deal with. Two, you guys had this amazing connection and maybe they just threw it all away based off of infidelity or whatever other drama they might've gotten you mixed up in. And the fact that they weren't open and honest with you, okay? We've got the Five of Cups. Look at that energy, grief, despair. They brought that on themselves, okay? If they lost you, especially if you happen to be Divine Feminine Taurus, this is a masculine who really regrets some of the things that they said or did to you. Mm-hmm. When you left their life, boy, did they, they felt it big time. You could have also been dealing with a Capricorn, or you are dealing with a Capricorn, maybe. You could also have Capricorn in your chart. So if they had other options, other people that they were connecting with, that could represent the temptation. You know, if you guys were together, but that grass is looking a little greener on the other side, that might have been how things played out here. But we've got the Summon of Pentacles, hard work that pays off, perseverance. 
I'm kind of feeling if they were interacting with other people, they weren't exactly working hard on the partnership, were they? So it's a different energy that's coming through now because they know what it feels like to live life without you. So this could be a masculine, for example, that reaches back out to you, Divine Feminine, letting you know it's like, okay, I, I know how I was with you before, but I'm coming towards you as a different person. I'm willing to work to get myself back into your life. This person, I feel they're not wanting to give up quite yet on the connection and look at that it's definitely coming forward from a masculine and if they're coming through if this is a masculine coming through as the emperor they're ready to take action here they want to do something about this we also have the energy of sagittarius coming through here so even though they want to come in and fix this you know just hurry up and get back into your life they can't do that. This is something that they're going to have to be patient. You know, you can't just be coming back into somebody's life after something major happened to break you guys up. But they do want to return. So this is a masculine who just needs to calm that energy a bit and just take things one step at a time. Let's see. Yeah, and there really is that need to take things one step at a time. Look, we've got the tower that is followed by the Ten of Wands. So this was a pretty intense connection and it also ended up heading towards a breakup and that was intense as well. So I feel when it comes to this person, your past love, Taurus, they know what it's like. You know, they know what it's like to have had this tower moment based off of their own experience because it created a scenario where you guys broke up, where you guys went in a separate, into a separation they are the reason why this partnership crumbled and fell apart. And so that Ten of Wands could simply be letting us know that ever since you guys have been apart, this has been like, if you can imagine this image right here with this person and they've got these giant boulders that's on their back, they've been carrying that, that heaviness around with them because ultimately they recognize that they contributed to why things fell apart bottom of the deck we've got the four of wands so their biggest regret first and foremost look at the next card we've got the three of swords they know they hurt you they regret that big time because now they're realizing that you really are the person that they want to be with they still feel very spiritually connected to you maybe you feel that as well whether it's a soulmate bond a twin flame bond this right here is what they want they want that reunion okay and look at this there you are so the empress and the emperor both showing up masculine and feminine and you guys ultimately when you were together you had some good times but something clearly interjected itself here that created a tower moment so this might be worth re-exploring if you're both open to it all right so but that's what's coming through they have a lot of regret as far as what might have been said or done to break you guys up could have been a very painful conversation that you guys had maybe the last time you saw each other it was not pleasant okay so now let's take a look at the future outcome of this situation when it comes to the two of you. All right. I'll be pulling from my Mystical Fairies Romance Oracle here. For Taurus. What do we need to know for Taurus, please? Future outcome. For this connection... All right, we've got perspective, viewpoint, new angle, personal outlook, okay? So there's a lot coming through here where it depends on how you guys both see this situation. If you're both on the same page, then maybe there's a good chance that you guys can make it work. Let's see what else. Future outcome. young love maybe you guys have known each other a very long time it does say first love childhood sweethearts take that if it makes sense or whenever i see that if that doesn't apply it could simply mean that there's this very youthful fun vibe when you guys are together lots of laughter it just makes sense when you're together 
Okay, let's see what else here. For some of you, maybe this was a major relationship that you had when you were younger. Ooh, look at this. We have the beginning. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have union. So for some of you guys, there is the opportunity to try again sometime in the future. So that's definitely coming through. Let's go ahead and see what else we can find out with some tarot here. I'll be pulling from my Luna tarot deck for Taurus. And this is telling me that you guys definitely needed to part ways in order for the other person or maybe both of you to see the relationship from, as it says, that different angle. Sometimes when you guys are together, bickering, you know, not seeing eye to eye, it's very difficult to have a better understanding understanding of the partnership. All right, so we do see the star. We're seeing young love again. There's something tied into that. All right, so either you guys are young or, again, youthful spirit between the two of you, okay? Could have been childhood sweethearts. But if it's not that, this right here, it's telling us that there is certainly a past influence here, that this person is feeling very nostalgic about you, Taurus, you know, which I believe that came through already, that they're thinking about you, right? Where is that card? Yep, Six of Cups came through already. So I feel that not only are they thinking about you, but they're for sure really wanting to try again, get back together. Divine Feminine, you're coming in as the Empress again. So your masculine knows that you are the person that they want to be able to create this new beginning with. Look at that, Ace of Wands. So there's definitely a spark here. It's still coming through. And the star represents that illuminated path that perhaps this person from your past is being guided towards. So there could be the possibility of a new beginning here. Look at that. So the Hierophant representing a spiritual lesson, and it also represents your own Taurus energy. So this person, what you're wanting is full commitment that you can trust them. And I feel there's the possibility for some of you that this could happen. We also have the Three of Wands. So it's telling us that there is this opportunity in the future to just focus on that future, whatever it is that you guys can build together rather than what happened in the past. But I feel it's really important to learn from the past and why you guys ended up having the tower moment to begin with. And it's quite fitting that we've got the Ace of Swords because, you know, going back to viewpoint, new angle, personal outlook, the perspective, somebody needed to gain clarity when it comes to that, you know, and I feel that clarity only came when you guys parted ways. I'm absolutely thrilled to see the Six of Pentacles, equality, because this is clarification here, Taurus, that you and this person are on the same page, which is great. Equality, equal give and take. They're not going to take from you more than they receive from you. So it's, it's a good energy, I feel, because when somebody is focused on somebody else while they are in another relationship, that just creates drama. And no wonder we saw that tower moment. All right, so that's what I'm getting for you, Taurus. I feel you certainly could have had some difficult moments during this relationship, but there's the opportunity in the future to work it out and to perhaps rebuild that foundation so that it's a lot stronger, so that you guys don't have to deal with any future tower experiences. All right, guys, so I'll leave that there. If um, there's a reading that you would like for me to do for you, I'd love to do that. If you are also interested in any of these decks, I'll link everything down below in the description box. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.